Hey, I'm Jeff. Welcome to Fast How To. Here, I show you how to automate your house without losing your mind, your weekend, or your Wi Fi password. If you've ever wanted your lights to turn on most of the time, you're my kind of people. Subscribe and we'll lower expectations together. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily upgrade from a Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro to a Dream Machine Pro Max. I know, I know. You've had your Dream Machine Pro for years, and it's taken a lot of tinkering to get to where it is, where everything is just the way that you want it, right? So why would you want to screw with it? With all the strange problems that you've had with it over the years, just leave well enough alone, right? You're probably terrified of having to start over if the whole thing blows up while you upgrade it, right? <laughs> I was. Trust me. It is super easy, and I'm going to show you how. Now, you're probably sitting there thinking, but Jeff, I had already paid almost 400 bucks for my Dream Machine Pro, and it works just fine. Why the hell would I want to pay another 600 to get a Pro Max? This is why. That's right. As some of you might already be aware from watching previous videos, I recently got a 7 gig fiber internet connection delivered. My old Dream Machine Pro couldn't keep up with that. Uh, not to mention that it was several years old and out of warranty, so it was time anyway. Here's what the accessory box looks like that comes with the nicely packaged Dream Machine Pro Max. In it is a power cable, a bunch of screws, and the rack ears. The power cable is interesting. It's got this flat edge here, and it does have a nice braided jacket on it instead of just the regular old rubbery plastic insulation that most cords have. But what's with the flat edge on the back of it? I'm glad you asked. The new Ubiquiti products have locking power cables on them. Check this out. Here's a pic of the rear of the unit. You can see the little switch here. After removing the cover, you can see that's where the power cable goes. You can see that it's unlocked. If I flip the switch over, it changes color and it's got a little lock icon. And you can see the tab that sticks out and grabs that flat edge on the back of the new design power cord to prevent it from being yanked out. I mean, I'm honestly not sure who's ever had that problem. I know I never have, but nonetheless, I do think it's a cool little upgrade. Okay, so before we get started with anything, you're going to want to make sure that your current Dream Machine Pro is fully updated. OS, network, the works. At the time that I did this and made this video, that was 4.4.6 for Unify OS and 10.0.162 for network. Once that's done, take a full backup. Just head on over to Settings, Control Plane, Backups, and click that backup button. I downloaded a copy of the backup locally as a precaution, but as it turns out, completely unnecessary. What can I say? I'm kind of belt and suspenders. Please don't ask me any questions about Protect or Access or any of the other apps, right? I, I don't use them. I only use Network. I will say, though, in my research that I ran across a number of people that said that although Protect successfully pulled in their cameras and everything, uh, they lost their footage when they tried to bring me a hard drive over from the previous unit. So if there's anything important on there, I would export it before you do this. Next, connect the new Dream Machine Pro Max to the internet by plugging in your cable modem or ONT into the WAN port and power it up. You might have to reboot your modem or ONT for it to provide an IP address because it's going to see a different MAC address now. I'm fortunate in that I've got redundant internet connections here. I've got both fiber and cable. So what I did was I plugged cable into the new Pro Max and left the fiber over on my old Dream Machine Pro. And that way I could still have internet access to go and look things up when I was sure this thing was going to blow up in my face. Pay attention to the status display on the new Pro Max. It'll tell you when it has successfully connected to the internet. And once it has, using the mobile app on your phone, connect to the Pro Max and start the configuration. After choosing it from the list, click Restore from Backup on the bottom. Next, you'll see a screen asking you to choose the backup. Hit next and you're off to the races. It's going to take about 20 minutes or so. The new one will show up in the mobile app before the process completes and you're going to be tempted to mess with it. Don't! 
Pay attention to the display on the front of the unit. It'll tell you when it's done. Once it completes, just move the rest of the cables for any devices and or uplinks from your old Dream Machine Pro over to the new Pro Max. And just like that, you're finished. All my Ubiquiti devices came over, all the port configs, all the wireless devices, all of it. Because I didn't have to shut down any of the APs or anything, none of the client devices even had to renegotiate a connection to get back onto the network again. Yeah, yeah, they, they took a brief internet outage, but they, they stayed connected to the Wi-Fi the whole time, which made this whole thing super fast and super easy. Now, one thing that did not go very smoothly for me was the failover internet connection. Maybe it's because I only plugged in the cable when I did the restore instead of plugging in both the cable and the fiber. I, I don't know. But uh, that configuration did not come over. So I had to manually put that back again. I remember from the first time that I set it up, it is a right pain in the ass. So I had kind of written down the steps and bookmarked some information about it. But uh, this time when I set it back up, I recorded all of that. So I will be making a video about that. And if that's something that you're interested in, uh, there'll be a link that'll pop up, some little thumbnail thing somewhere here that you can click on that and watch it if that's something that you're interested in. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, write the URL on the bathroom wall, whatever, all, all that kind of shit. It, it all helps. So thank you so much for that. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel financially, I'll throw a QR code up here somewhere on the screen and post. You can go ahead and scan that. That'll take you over to my Patreon page. Uh, check that out. You get access to all sorts of cool benefits like early access to advertisement free videos and downloadable code. It, it's pretty cool. Take a look. Anyhow, uh, enjoy your new Pro Max and may the speed be with you. Sweet.